it's looking good and uh, Redevelopment. Today we are going to Port Maran and we are going to capture what improvements have been made on this section of the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project. Remember to subscribe to support the channel. Subscription is free and it's just your way of showing your appreciation to the channel and for its growth and development so we can do better and bigger things. With that said, we are on Prospect Road in St. Thomas, a section where we notice that road work has been taking place. We see where they have skimmed the road so far. We see where uh, the curb walls are in. We have videos when they remove the light poles or they push them back. Um, also, we are going to show you what's happening, how things look, how we feel about this development and so on. With that said, it's a bit dusty, but wow, we see a nice little section right here that they did some asphalt work on and as you can see they have done some this seems to be some pre-work for asphalt and it's wide um, I guess when they put on the second coating things will look much better but it's looking pretty good and this is prospect east prospect the road is very wide, it's very smooth, and this is looking good! Prospect getting a nice little road in a finish. Based on what I'm seeing, likely they're going to put on a second coating. It would be nice if they put some sidewalks to it, but because a lot of persons run out here in the morning, but it's looking good and uh, we are approaching an end where this seems to have terminated this road so far. So I guess whoever is going to take it from here will have to bring it to Port Maranta or wherever. Nonetheless, we progress from Prospect now into Lethal, close to Works Yard. And the road is looking rather cool this evening. And I can see the vendors out. I can tell you this area is highly populated. There's a section that they refer to as Fort, that there's a lot of persons living in this district. Thousands. So, you know, whenever they expand this section of the road, assume that these residents will welcome such development of course this virgin stopping at the road apparently think, uh, think that the other person using the road anyway we progress towards Portmont and we are in Elita. Of course, Works Yard, one of my favorite places. And there, you can see places like... Uh, <laughs> the passengers laugh. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
and you can see places like Fish Cove. You can take your family there on a Sunday afternoon. It's they, they have quite a delight. Boss man, when you go up, turn off, you mingle the road. This is not the driving book, and I miss that so. Anyway. So, we are cruising through Little, this deep corner, almost looking like something of uh, 270 degrees. Nonetheless, I hope whoever gets this section of the project will do those work that requires us not to be going around corners. So, we progress further and we are roughly about four minutes from Portman. The last time I came here, this road was riddled with potholes. We are passing Fish Cove at this point to my left. This road was riddled with potholes. It appears. Hey, look at that Porsche. All right, now let off one of my passenger. <laughs> uh, well, my passenger, one of my workmen. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. You know. All right, boss, take care of yourself. All right. Oh, oh you're not the cutting work back yet. Ah. All right, boss. <laughs> All right. All right, sir. So that's one of my workmen and he lives in this area. Of course, I just passed a place there like East Coast coming soon. It seems like it's a restaurant or something. They are passing. You see them beautiful beaches there in St. Thomas? <laughs> when this highway drop, <laughs> the price gone up. Yeah. So we are in Works Yard and as I said we are roughly about four minutes from Port Morant and the area is so cold, really cool, love it. I grew up in this area. I remember a person like Deron and Ben and Jamie and Connor. Itagi, all those guys from my childhood friend, Tony, Tanelli, Talisia, all of them. Nonetheless, the section of road they have got patched out and it's very good. As we are about to pass in 60, we are about to approach the Triangle Bridge. Technically, one could argue it's the worst bridge in Jamaica because it's built like a triangle so if you know what a triangle looks like you know you go up and then have a apex and then you go down so that's how that bridge was built not the best so we are in Portland and I just want to say thank you very much for supporting the channel and uh, this is where we will be terminating this is where we will be terminating the video Again, if you see your house, your, your childhood playground or something, just leave a comment in the comment section and tell us what you think. Have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week. Bless up to you and your family.